All right, we're back here with Bill Watrous here at the Performance Loft in Redlands, uh, and he is about to play It All Depends on You. <laughs>
six months ago, and I started thinking about some of the absolutely ridiculous things that have <laughs> happened to me while I was out on the road and flipping around and everything like that. I remember, uh, I remember somebody going up and asking Woody Herman if uh, big band music is going to come back. <laughs> and Woody says, yeah, next football season. The character, you know. <laughs> Amazing, actually. So I don't remember any of this stuff. What the hell was this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna tell you. Uh, I used to work at the Copacabana a lot. I went to this is this is not funny what I'm about to tell you. This happened. And you may have seen this scene happen in the movie The Godfather. I was at the Copa when this happened. Jerry Vale was playing at the Copa. And uh, we were, I guess we were about the third or fourth tune in, and he's going, remember, let's see, uh, uh, okay. Uh, you can, oh, I'm trying to see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretend you don't see her, my heart. Mm -hmm. Although she is coming your way, and all of a sudden, in the back of the place. Yeah, and this guy had stood up with a machine gun and shot these two cops. They were, you know, off duty. He, I mean, he didn't just shoot them. He blew them away. There wasn't much left of them. And the, uh, the red coats and the white coats came, pulled them away, and another group of people came up and put a new place setting and four new table, you know, a new tablecloth and four new place settings. And the show was ordered to go on. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. Toilet paper stock rose about 20 points. When that happened, we were, you know, they were telling the show to go on. I mean, we were down behind the bandstands, all of the band, hiding. And I don't know what, Jer what Jerry was thinking at that time either. Uh, the toilet paper stock was going up there, too. I mean, he was terrified. I could tell, you know, just from. 
But uh, you know, a lot of things happened at that Copa. I used to see Mickey Mantle and, uh, and uh, uh, Whitey Ford and Billy Martin used to come in and sit right next to ringside when I was playing with Sinatra. And they would stay all three shows. We had Saturday night, we had shows, you know, 7.30, uh, uh, and no, actually 8.30, 11.30. Of course, we had a, you know, a, a dance group would come out and, you know, they were all too big and too heavy, but they did it anyway, you know. And they would go off, and by the time we got out of there, it was 2.30 in the morning. Now, I've got tickets to the doubleheader out of Yankee Stadium, so we go out, and I'm watching, and here's these three guys coming out for, oh, say, can you, and they're leaning against each other like this, and there's nothing but blood coming out of their eyes, right? In that doubleheader, Mickey Mantle hit three home runs, drove in about nine runs, threw two people out, rounding, rounding first base too much, I never seen anything like that, you know. What a ball player, you know. Drank too much, though. <laughs> you know why he did that? He said he didn't think he was going to live uh, long, because his father and his father's, both his father's brothers all died of, like, Hodgkin's disease at a very young age. And he figured, what the hell, you know. He said, he said in his later years, he says, you know, so if, I know, if I'd have known I was going to live this long, I'd have taken better care of myself. <laughs> really? Amazing.